the engineer here, hailing from Shuttle Obi Wan. Wanted to talk about an experience from some time ago. It's difficult to remember in its entirety. But as it goes, I woke up in a box. And the box varies. It's stone or it's metal. It could be wood. And the box is in different sizes. Some some are like a ten by ten room. Kind of spacious. Others I'm kind of cramped inside. I've, I don't think I've ever woken up in a coffin shaped box or a coffin for that matter just saying but one such experience the, was stone and I'm thinking about it now in relation to a number of other things. How, uh, how there was a, a trip to another world to chart the course. But, to, but then I'd have to come back to reality. Or to the other world. The reality that I left behind having changed from my journey. So I had to go from being somebody that was real to something that wasn't, and then to make that something that wasn't real. From one realm to another. World to another. It's like, if you're going to go to Mars, you can go to Mars. But how are you going to get back? It's a very important step in the return trip process. You're going to go to uh, another realm. You know, disappear from this world. How are you going to get back? If you're going to go to fantasy world... How are you going to get back? If you are... now, I'm going to just get dramatic for a moment. If you are going to dive into madness... Can you return? You know, what's the comeback? So these are all... Along a thread of similar idea. Are you following? Anyway. But what intrigued me currently, or just now, was the idea of the box that I was stuck in initially. I woke up in a box everything was defined for me at the outset. There were four walls around me, a floor beneath me, and a ceiling above me. They were certain space apart from each other. I had air, or light, or no light. I knew the the temperatures texture of the walls. What, if anything, was on the walls? What changed about the room the longer I was in it? And what changed about me the longer I was in it?
because it's a box. Box is very confining, even if it is a very big box. But it's all boxes, isn't it? Sometimes you just don't know the size of your box. You can't see the box. In a box, one cell. No, that's not where I want to go. Uh, a box is structure. It's a building block. You can stack upon it. You can organize it in relation to each other. Rows and columns and stacks in, in six different directions. And more. Because you can go off of the points and diagonals and build those up and one next to the other. And that's important. But I broke, well, no, it wasn't, it, it wasn't that you could break out of the box. You couldn't. There was, there's no breaking out of the box. But you could redefine the box. And you can change who you are. You can change your perception. in the box. Standing up in a box that you are too tall for and you bump your head and things seem very small but if you're lying on the floor maybe you prep your head on the floor and you look up. It looks a lot bigger. If you're sitting quite comfortably and you have no need to stand at the moment then you can do that quite comfortably. But to stand, yes, you are limited in that you cannot stand, but you can sit. You can crawl. There are still things to do. There's still... I don't know. I don't want to say hope, but it's the first thing that popped into my head. There's hope. There's always hope. When are you out of hope? When you're dead... Everything goes away. <laughs> so by changing who I was and redefining the box that I was in, I was able to change the box for me. I was able to get out of the box. I think there's an inversion factor there. <clears throat> Maybe I realized that I was I don't know, something else. Maybe the box was something else. But what it represents, revisiting the idea after all that I've gone through already, all that I understand now, gives me new insight into what I've done, into what I did to myself. how I've changed, how my world, how the world has changed. And what reality it is that I've made for myself.
it's a reality. I'm sorry, it, it, yeah, no, it, it is a reality that anyone can achieve for themselves through the work and the belief that it can be done. If you start out not believing that it can be done, it's going to weigh against you. Something. Uh, it, it's interesting to hear people shout, I don't believe it, when something like it's. I can't believe that has happened. It was outside of their realm of belief. They're trying to deny it or make it go away. They're trying to fight it by not accepting it. It doesn't become a reality. It doesn't enter their world. The consequences of believing that are too great for them. Or unwanted. Because, I mean, it might simply just be, I don't want to believe that. <laughs> but somebody who fears a belief or a type of reality then tries to fight the reality as it, ma as it, as it materializes. Huh. Yeah, so okay. That's good stuff. Leave your questions in the comments. And believe.